You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on the Glory Hall Radio Network, gloryholeradio.com. Oh, God. Oh. Welcome to Why You Suck in Bed. I'm Stacy, and Kelly can't breathe. She's laughing so hard. I wasn't expecting them to hear that, that was, at all. That was shocking. Ooh, I'm already sweating. Here we go. Wow. Hi, guys. So here we are. We have a couple of things to explain. We are going to consider this our first episode. Yes. And um, we don't really have to get into why, but this is our first episode. And the others were more like pilots. Um, Wanted to see how everyone was going to respond. And we got a great response. So here we go. We're going to start our first episode. Totally. And as we always start our episodes, we are going to respond to our listener email. Kick it. Go ahead. It's time to answer your emails. Oh, it's God. time to answer your emails. Uh. <laughs> it's what the listeners want. And here we go. And here we, we go. go. I just wanted to hear you say that. Last time you said it, you were like, and here, here we, we go. go. It was so spontaneous. I, I guess it'll be my thing now. I like that. I like it that that's your thing. Okay. Let's hear what we have I today. Thought, I thought this was your thing. Uh. <laughs> All right, Jeff, I'm going to have to kick your ass if you keep this up. I'm really going to have to kick your ass. All right, so we're going to start with uh, listener emails. Our first email comes from a person named Swede. Sweet, sweet. His name's Swede or she's Swede? I don't know if it's a guy or if it's a girl. I think it's a guy. And where is Swede from? It doesn't Norway. say. It doesn't say. <laughs> But it's interesting. He's responding to our discussion about cunnilingus. Mm, cunnilingus. Here it goes. Hey, Stacey, love the show. You girls made me slightly horny, which is a good thing. Anyway, this week, an Australian newspaper ran a story about a study by a University of Queensland professor that stated that people who have engaged in oral sex with more than six partners tripled their risk of developing mouth or throat cancer. Uh, hmm. hmm. If that's hmm. true, I should technically have no face. <laughs> <laughs> I have been licking, lapping, and loving pussy for years. And no anti-pussy professor could dissuade me from one of my top hobbies. Would such a finding stop you from sucking cock? I doubt that very much, but humor me. Swede. Swede. Wow. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. So I want Jeff to answer this one. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> would that dissuade you from sucking cock? <laughs> <laughs> that would be probably number eight on the list of why I wouldn't suck cock. There's many others. Okay, Cal nice. Callie, what do you think about that? I mean, first I'm done. Of all I'm never going to suck another cock ever. I'm done. I'm done. Come on. Don't touch his dick. I don't think that's true. No, though. I don't. Think Have it's you heard true. anything like that? I've looked pussy. I, I'm fine. I'm good to go. Yeah, I don't, I, no, no, I, I'm not diagnosed with anything currently. I'm wondering how many times you need to engage in that act to develop cancer. I'd like to find that study. Actually, I haven't had a chance to look it up. Do you think they used mice and lab rats? To yeah, how did they do that study? That's a good question. Do, but do mice engage in oral sex? <laughs> that's another study. Like, Ooh. how could you use mice to do that? Yeah, you can't put, force put a mouse. Put the cheese on mouse the female on mouse. mouse. Put the cheese on the organ. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I really I don't buy it. I think it's bullshit. 
Mm. It would never. I mean, if someone told me I was going to get cancer from sucking cock, I I, I, I just don't buy it. No, if it was sorry. the nicotine laced cock, yes, <laughs> Yes, if it was the nicotine laced condoms, we can go back to that. I have to tell you, I, I, again, I, well, it's kind of along the lines of the Swede because wasn't that more of that was like an IKEA product? It was. Those, an, yeah, we can go back to this. Yeah, it's all coming together. I don't it's, think we're really helping this dude, but just go out and lick some good pussy and have fun. Yeah, I think you I think that story is bullshit, man. I'm going to look it up. Well, in the future podcast, we're going to talk about that study because I don't really. I'd like to know what the sample size was. I'd like to know who they did the, the study sample on. Sample size. The size. No, Does the, it matter? The, the size really matters. <laughs> the Does sample matter? size. <laughs> How many people? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, so, so, Swede, thank you for writing. It's really very interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's I, let's to be on. continued on. Yeah, that, I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look that up. We'll get our team of why you suck in bed researchers to. Yeah, we're getting on it. Up. Put our white lab coats on and do. You know, Michael Douglas did recently get. Um, diagnosed with throat cancer. Um, he saying smoked. Michael Douglas sucks a lot of cock is what you're <laughs> saying, isn't it? <laughs> wow, no, but he him. no, he made a statement to the public saying that he got throat cancer from it, cunnilingus. That I think it was like HPV caused it because when he would go down on a woman, he would get the virus and it caused the throat cancer. And his doctor backed Are him. Are you in making that. this up? No, I swear to God. So basically, you're saying Catherine Zeta Jones has smelly pussy. No, and disease called diseased pussy. pussy is what I'm saying. That's Not really diseased. That's fucked up. Look it up. I'm telling you. I mean, it, it was like the biggest story of 2010. I clearly, I've been living under a rock. Mm. Become a friend of the vagina. <laughs> 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 apparently, apparently, Michael Douglas was not a friend of the vagina. No, the vagina didn't like Michael Douglas. No, it didn't. Contaminated oh, his ass. Uh, uh, literally, <laughs> his throat. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> ass throat. It's all the same fucking bullshit. Okay, that's gross. So, so here's our next email. I have a look of disgust on my face right now. I know. I'm still trying to like ponder that. I know. That's bullshit. He smoked. Dude, I'm just telling you what they report on TMZ, motherfucker. Oh, you get your news from TMZ? <laughs> yeah. And did you just call me motherfucker? Yes. Wow, it's like 10 minutes in and, and already she's calling me a motherfucker. Awesome. All right. Where's the love? Stop, stop c- trying to challenge me on our podcast. I'm feeling feisty. We might have to have a girl fight. Chick fight. <laughs> He'll pull your hair. <laughs> uh, who promised? Because <laughs> we can go to... An episode, one of our pilot episodes about pulling hair. I know all about your pull, your little thing for pulling hair. Yeah. Could you choke me a little too over there? <laughs> I think I have a monkey Humper in the back ass. room. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the next email is from Athen. I'm sorry. I'm going to apologize in advance because I think I'm going to mispronounce this. Athanasios. Oh, I, yes. I, I feel like I, I bonded with this yeah, person. Yeah, on Twitter we on have. Twitter. Um, he writes, I believe he lives in Scotland. Love him. I and love his him and his wife. wife. We love. Here's a shout out to you guys. You guys are awesome. You rock the Twitter. So here it goes. First off, love the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have a. I have got a top technique I use when eating my lady's pussy. A t- I guess he wants to share. A awesome. Technique. Share your technique. Okay. For all our male listeners, <clears throat> when using the fingers, I switch it up by tickling. The clit with a wet finger and stick my tongue right in and fuck the pussy exclamation point wait you do all that at one time <laughs> yes you are very very good multitasker <laughs> works better than 69ing i don't do it too often i wouldn't want to spoil her oh, oh. I think okay a diagram for this yeah i'm still trying to figure that one can you repeat yeah okay ready i heard tongue finger wet finger when using the fingers I switch it up by tickling the clit with a wet finger. This makes sense. I get it. And stick my tongue right in and fuck the pussy. Ah, uh, uh, we're getting a visual. Okay. Got it. Okay. And then he says it's finger licking good. Mm, KFC. Colonel Copyright Sanders. infringement. Go ahead. Little plug there for you. <laughs> <laughs> have you had that done before or have you done it, Callie? I have... Um, you're being called out. I'm totally being called out. Um, I don't think I have. Um, I don't. I do a little bit of the fingers. I don't wet my fingers because usually the woman's vagina is already sopping wet, so no need to lick m- my fingers. Um, have I done that? No, 
but I'm going to try. I'm a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I am going to use your advice, TP. and I'm going to try that on my girlfriend. Okay. Uh, and do you agree that using the good stuff less makes it more special? I'm sorry? What he's saying is when you have a good technique and you don't engage in it regularly and you make the person Save like... It for I, I do agree with that. I do right. absolutely agree with that. I feel like once you keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's not as special. I, and I, th- that goes for everything. Wait, you can't have pizza every night. No. You can't make that what amazing, your man's favorite meal every night because it loses its luster. Yeah. I think you need to switch it up. You need absolutely. to make the person wonder, am I going to get it now? Yeah. It, or now? Or, or now. Ah, see, you did it again. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then he writes, P.S. T.P. has the best job in the world. You rock, dude. Oh, thank you, guy, whose name I can't pronounce. Thank you. Oh, T.P. got a little shout out. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> we, I, I seriously do adore them. And if you guys are listening, please just bear with me with Twitter. I'm, I'm getting there. I was getting a lot of hate, hate love, hate love, hate. Twitter hate mail. Twitter hate mail. Like, Twits. Everyone was yelling at me for not following them. I didn't know that when you follow someone on Twitter or like they follow me, I'm supposed to follow them. Like I didn't quite get that. Like, so bear with me. I'm getting there. You didn't know like the Twitter rules. I don't know there's the Twitter rules. There's a certain rules. amount of like, you know, there's an understanding Twitter on Twitter. Yeah, there should be like a do's and a don'ts right. for this. Twitter. Twitter kit. Twitter kit. Twitter kit. Twitter etiquette. Yeah. Twitter Got etiquette. It. TP, are on. you on Twitter yet? Hell no. Okay. I have nothing interesting to say. It's a full time job. Exactly. I got the best job in the world right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we're going to go. I-, I saved this email for last. Oh, good. Is it the um, yeah. very lesbian mm-hmm. one? The very, very lesbian one. Nice. This is a good one, guys. Should I read this email or it's, should we go? You know, I was thinking, It is long. You know, I think I'm going to wait for this email, actually, because um, I do want to address something. We are part of the Glory Hole Radio Network, and mm-hmm. a, there is the Glory Hole, ra- the Glory Hole sh- podcast. Then there is the Mad Scientist Party Hour. Yes. They are, the Mad Scientists are Kevin Kraft and Miguel, but I don't, can't, I don't know your last name, Miguel. And I, and I'm not really Hexylvania. I don't know if that's your real last name, but good, God bless you. Two very adorable men. Penis is my real last name. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we heart them. I've met Kevin. Um, he is an absolute sweetheart. He's adorable, good-looking guy. He's like, if you like the blonde hair look, is very he fat? like. No, I'm just kidding. No, he's I not fat. He like. He's not really our type. No, but he's, but no, he's adorable. He's, he's I see, very yes, attractive. We're, we're buddies. We're buddies on Twitter and Facebook. He's a, he's so he's very cool. He's very funny. Yeah, I masturbate to you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> These things are making me like la- hysterical. Get a- okay, I got to use this. I'm down. And Miguel, I've not met, but Miguel and I have been speaking um, now that we're colleagues, and he's we're really colleagues. Yeah, we have, I have colleagues. We have colleagues. We have wow, podcast this is colleagues. Very exciting. So Miguel is. Um, I'm going out for drinks with our colleagues. Well, they're they're, like- they're on the West Coast now. Oh, that doesn't really help. I know. Although, where on the West Coast? L.A. I think so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. But they're going to be coming to New York, and they said they're going to want to go out with us. We should. We have to brainstorm. We have to, they have to appear on Why You Suck in Bed. Absolutely. Okay, so Miguel is awesome. We speak a lot. He has the most amazing radio voice. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. It's like, it's like butter. It's, it's like butter. It's awesome. Mm. Yeah. So the other night, I do what I do before I go to bed, which is, does not involve a monkey. <laughs> Too bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> and um, so, you do you fall asleep to them? I do. I put on some podcasting. I listen to either uh, Sprantz and those boys, or you know Kevin and Miguel. And I was surprised because they talked about us. No way. Yeah. Gave oh us a little boy. shout out in the Mad Science. Sorry, guys. Hour. I've been a little behind on the podcast. I'm trying to catch up now. So I'd like to play that clip right now and respond to their shout out. So do we The podcast Why You Suck in Bed has officially launched and I finally got a chance to check it out and I got to say it's fucking out of control man. Yeah. I'm loving it. It's it's filthy. <laughs> it is utterly filthy. I was I was <laughs> aghast at what I heard on that show. Aghast? I had a boner. 
<laughs> I had an aghast, filthy boner. Exactly. Mm. From the things discussed on that show. Oh, boy. I mean, it's, it's, it's two girls doing a show about sex. Who are professionals on the subject. And they hold nothing back. My God, the things they talk about made me blush, which is a, a very, very oh, hard thing to accomplish. Blush. I mean, uh... Uh, it's hosted by Dr. Stacy, and she has her co-host, Callie. Mm. And that girl, Callie, my God, man, she talks about fucking everything that moves. <laughs> <laughs> and she she holds nothing Whoa. back. She was talking about just doing the dirtiest things to people. She's saying she wants to give people her booby milk and caress them <laughs> and suck filthy cocks and lick assholes. She's just throwing it out there. She licks tons and tons of assholes. I, I just want to say booby milk one more time I'm sorry <laughs> so she, yeah, she's a big fan of licking assholes or getting her asshole licked I don't think she really Both. touched much on licking or her asshole getting licked she likes licking people's dudes assholes really and that's uh. the filthiest kind of asshole there is yeah yeah that's uh. being that I'm a dude and I have a dude asshole I can tell you it is quite filthy yeah there's a reason they call it no man's land <laughs> Oh my god. But it's definitely a show I would I would highly recommend. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, the title alone is fucking genius if you ask me. The show itself has to be at least partially brilliant, you know? I mean, it's and worth checking out. They're killing it. They're doing good in the ratings and that whole asshole eating thing just kind of sorry to to rob a topic from you ladies, but I I find it fascinating. <laughs> I wanted to <laughs> okay, <laughs> so Callie's on the floor. Wow, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. Wow, wow, <laughs> wow. I, I, first, let's just comment on their voices. Oh, first of all, amazing, uh, uh, sexy, uh, sexy. Like I, I am definitely gonna listen to them this evening. I'm gonna go home and put the headphones on. Get your monkey. Get my monkey out. <laughs> and, appara- <laughs> and apparently, you know, I, I, I'm speechless right now. She I'm not really even really sure what to say. I, 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 I. I okay, yes. Um. Gen- guys, dudes, no, um, gentlemen. I almost said gentlemen. I yeah. May I, may I say I have an idea Uh-oh. for yeah. our listening audience? A drinking game. <laughs> Whenever Callie's <laughs> gentlemen, yes, drink. Yes, drink. that's it. Take a drink. I want to address the fact that I, I guess I come across as quite the whore to you two. Um, yes, I do enjoy licking asshole. I'm a whore. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, um, but I'm really not. Like, there's just so Hump much her ass. <laughs> There's so much history, and and I guess you could just say I'm 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 enjoying I'm enjoying myself right now. I'm not a whore. I swear. I do. I I okay. So let's go back to the asshole thing. This is a whole new thing for me. I genuinely just started enjoying licking asshole. I am a little older now, and I appreciate the asshole. I respect it now. I um and yes, I do enjoy getting my asshole licked. I want to feel your tongue in my ass. <laughs> oh, God. I, I do. I enjoy it. But it has to be with the right person. It, not any guy can just go and stick his tongue in my asshole. It has to be done a certain way. Um, do you agree that it's no man's land? It's dirty? No I, no. I mean, luckily for me, the assholes that I have licked have not been dirty and have been delicious, as a matter of fact. Has it involved a shower? A, a pre-licking a sh- yes. shower? A pre-licking shower, without a doubt. It hasn't been like a day where the dudes like worked all day, came home, and like his pants have streak marks or his undies. No, nothing like that at all. Um, So no swamp ass involved. No swamp ass, not at all. And 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 vice versa. No mud butt. Oh. (laughs) And vice versa, I wouldn't allow someone (laughs) to go near my tush if I hadn't showered at least a half hour prior to meeting them. You know, later on in the episode, a few minutes, uh, Kevin brings up dingleberries. Ew. Oh, that's have so you- disgusting. <laughs> and no, I have not. And if there ever were, I would vomit. I would be like that standby scene with the blueberry pie where the kid just vomits and the other kid vomits and there would be a whole big vomiting thing. That's not happening. So no dingleberries. No dingleberries. Um, <laughs> and really, I haven't, I, I guess I did come across in the last couple of episodes that I I've I've, uh, oh. I've fucked everyone. Is that what he said? Fucked everything that moves. Everything that, that moves. That was the quote, I think. My stuffed animal monkey does not move. <laughs> so let's just put things in perspective, people. Way to clear your name. Thank anyway. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. What did Kevin say? He had a... Um, 
he had a something filthy a filthy boner a filthy boner. a filthy a dirty filthy boner dirty <laughs> filthy boner yeah from you from me um I, I'm innocent in this bullshit <laughs> bullshit I've just been having fun to be honest with you it's been you harmless like to no give one's out your getting booby milk oh my booby milk that's right that's because that's I'm, for Franco I, that's for Franco I'm a little older than Franco. Right. Not much. No. And um, <laughs> I was joking around because he's a young kid and, and I could never possibly. Oh, I, <laughs> never say never because that, never say that never. boy is coming on this he show. Is adorable. He is adorable, but I do feel like I could milk it. Like I could breastfeed him. He's Bre- such a little, oh. little dude. Franco's coming on and he is coming on with a mission. And um, so he, he, he declared that he is going to try and bang you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> look at CP's face. <laughs> so I, I did I clear my name? I don't. I don't even think I cleared. I think I just made it all worse. <laughs> I don't think so. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are enjoying our show, and and I'm definitely going to be uh, listening to you guys tonight. I've just I can't wait for you guys to. We can all guest appear on each other's show. That'll I be just, fun. I would love to just all hang out and have yeah. a few drinks and just brainstorm with everyone because we are so new to this, and I'm sure we can learn a lot from the other two yeah they're awesome um so thank you guys for the shout out you guys rock um i think since we're on the topic of dingleberries and (laughs) the like of anal (laughs) i think i'm gonna read the next email you need to embrace the anal sex but i need to also clarify that i don't like anal sex like, I, I, I just want to throw that out there. We didn't say you did. I know. You said I'm, you like to put your tongue there. I, I like tongue. In the naughty zone. In the no, you call it a naughty zone. See, I don't see why that's a naughty zone. if joking. something goes in your ass, isn't that considered anal sex? No. No? Okay. Well, that's a good question. I don't know. So, tongue... Where does anal sex begin? Just... When the penis, penis inserts, inserts into the rectum. So, Callie defines it as insertion of penis, and TP, you would define it as... Anything entering the anything. rectal area, I would say. It's interesting. Okay. All right. We actually, what I didn't baloney. say is we have baloney. A, There's no way. There is no way I've had anal sex with a tongue. Wait, wait. We have a live studio audience. Yeah, today. we do. And we're going to bring and somebody on. And we're just going to. All moment. right. So we're just going to poll you guys. Um, person one, come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Who do you agree with, TP or Callie? Uh, TP. Was that Mike on? Yes, it was. Oh, I could barely hear you. Come here. Say come, it again. Can I couldn't you just hear sit you. Sit down and hang out with us. No. <laughs> and TP. <laughs> so you, so you. so really? Okay, let, person Wait, number two. Person number two. Who do you agree with? I think that's bullshit. I've had my thumb up my ass. I would say I've had <laughs> anal <laughs> sex before. <laughs> see, see, does that make him gay? <laughs> baloney. Oh, I'm on baloney tonight now. Oh, wait, hold on. Person what, one. What defines intercourse? Get close to the mic. Come on. Come, okay. What defines intercourse? Is In- it only a penis in the vagina? Oh no! Here we oh, no no. That's a good that's point. Good what if you're anal you? intercourse? What if you're anything, lesbian? Right. Entering the orifice. Thank you, and my work is done. Here. Yeah, but a tongue <laughs> is so little. There's no way a tongue in my asshole. Uh, that's pleasurable. You don't a like big... the tip. You like the fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone, calm down. Well, uh, Doctor Stacy, go- can't you help us? Yes, you're the doctor. You're the doctor. <laughs> oh God, I'm just here as a. <laughs> I want to feel your tongue in my ass. <laughs> Come on, person All number right. two. Come on, he's All got right. a story about anal. Okay, go on. Go to we your email. Stor- it's anal story time. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> okay. Here's so, the deal. As a, from a professional point of view, um, professional. <laughs> if we're gonna talk about sex. Are you yes, gonna- I would say that person number one brought up a good point because in lesbian sex in a lesbian relationship can be defined by engaging in cunnilingus so you can define anal sex by engaging in licking of the anus <laughs> so i then can tell everybody that i've had anal Woo-hoo, go me i've done anal then okay. and the last time i was the last time i was picking my underwear out of my ass i would say i've had anal <laughs> you See, there you go so that means all men are pretty much gay then Okay. Is that what you're saying? I did not say that. I stuck my tongue in a lot of asses, apparently. <laughs> per per Kevin. Hold on, person one. What I'm saying is... Talk that up. We can't hear you. Talk up? I'm tired of the talk up, okay? Talk up. <laughs> what I'm saying is that intercourse is not just about a dick and a vagina. 
and therefore you have to apply the same rules whether you're talking about the vagina or the butthole. You said butthole. <laughs> butthole. I said butthole. <laughs> Bunghole. Bunghole. Take it like okay, a Okay, so... <laughs> oh, God. Because look at what happened when a man accused a woman of rape. Everybody said a man can't rape a woman. Well, that's a bunch of crap. Right. So I Wait just a think... Minute, a man, be- you mean a man, woman, can't, woman can't rape a man. So I, I just think you're being too um, rigid in your definition of what intercourse is. And if you've had a thumb up your ass, I'm going to say that's anal intercourse. Whoa, I didn't have a thumb up my ass. I'm done. That was person number two. I totally did. <laughs> <laughs> and you totally had anal intercourse. I guess I have had anal... Okay, I this had is... A, I had to cut my fingernails afterwards. Oh, oh TP, you too? So... So I guess Mm. I I, I have had anal intercourse. Who knew? All right. So none of us are virgins. I think that's a given. I'm a born again. I'm starting all (laughs) over from scratch. Episode here. This is it. I've never had sex with anyone. I'm starting from scratch. Your anus is going to start over. Exactly. I am no longer a whore. You can't go back from that. I can't. I'm going to try though. All right. Person number two is here. We're not introducing this person until our next episode, but you could sit in if you'd like. I have a penis. (laughs) He's TP too. Yeah. All right. So here, I'm going to read the next email. Is it about anal? Yeah. But it's a different take on it. It's a very special anal episode. Very special. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Stacey and Callie. Hello to you lovely ladies. Mm. This is from Hunter. Okay. Hunter is in, I believe, Maryland. First off, I finally had the chance to sit down and listen to your first podcast. You guys effing rock. It's not totally topics I can relate to as I'm a lesbian, but if for nothing else, it's entertaining, and I'm thinking that at some point, you'll get on to stuff that does relate, so I intend on continuing to listen and enjoy. Well, thank you, Hunter. Okay. So as I said, I'm a lesbian. Congratulations. I (laughs) I identify as a butch. The girl I'm seeing is a femme. We have been together too, not too long, but things are going very well so far, especially in bed. That's good. The dynamic is definitely similar to a male-female relationship in the bedroom, but does include typical lesbian sex as well. Now, what would be typical lesbian sex? I was just going to ask, what is, can you, person number uh, one. Here she comes, our lesbian consultant. What is typical lesbian sex? I guess that would probably be going down on each other. But what about, what about clitoral clit to clit? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you mean scissoring? I bet you had scissoring. No, but what about just... What Scissor about me just, timbers. You, I, I, well, I think what the, I think what the like person hum- who wrote in was trying to say is that... Are those your noises? Is there... What is that noise? It's the cat. <laughs> it's the pussy. <laughs> I think. I think what the. What was your plan with the cat? <laughs> I think that the person who wrote in what she is trying to convey is that not only does their relationship exist in uh, things that are typical to lesbian sex, but there's also similar to a heterosexual relationship, right? I mean, isn't that kind of yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, maybe I should just read on and it'll make more sense. Let's just keep reading on. And obviously, (laughs) you know, you can't call me in for the next part because I have no experience in this area. Okay. (laughs) But I apparently do. (laughs) So here we go. Um, The male female relationship comes in when I use a strap on. Okay. Hump her ass. All right. We're we're getting intense now. I'm, I'm into strap ons. Okay. Hump her ass. I definitely am as close to a guy as you can get in the bedroom without having a real dick. She gives me blowjobs, which can sometimes actually get me off, even though it's not an actual dick. And I fuck her just like an actual guy would fuck a woman. Ghost penis. (laughs) Ghost penis. It's on the Cartoon Network. (laughs) Is it really? <laughs> no. Oh, I was like, really? Oh my god! I have my I had just had a blonde oh, like phantom limbs, ghost penis. <laughs> got it. Got it. <laughs> all right. She loves when I fuck her, and I and loves knowing that underneath it all, I'm actually a woman. I wonder now. I wonder. I know that this isn't written, but if the strap on has like a little piece that inserts inside of I'm Hunter's just, vagina, I was just thinking that because for her to get off when she receives a blowjob. I'm wondering if she has something attached. It's double-sided. So, Hunter, let us know about that. I'm curious. Okay. 
Um, now that I've told you all that, let me get to the reason for my email. Okay, so we got some history. Good. So honey, now we're going to get the purpose. Got it. Of the email. Okay. Over the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about the possibility of anal sex, mm. Mm. which I have not done with anyone well, I've been with as of yet. Well, if you got a tongue in your ass, Hunter, then you've had anal, apparently. <laughs> FYI. Or if you ever wore a thong. <laughs> wow. I, I, I'm having anal right now. <laughs> Me too. I'm totally watching you have anal. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, butt plugs. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Okay. Person number one on the way. <laughs> oh, wow. Here she Are comes. Are you having anal, too? <laughs> Are you wearing a thong? There's <laughs> a lot of snorting going on here. Oh, cool. Spooge, spooge, spooge. And once again, <laughs> I need to be brought in to bring decorum to the situation. <laughs> I don't even know what to say anymore. First of all, for all of you listening, I'm sorry that you're stuck listening to these two. Intercourse is about penetration. So if you wear a thong or someone's licked your ass, you probably haven't had anal sex, okay? So I don't even remember your name. Guess number two, but you're okay. If you've had a thumb up there, though, yeah. Y- you had some anal sex. <laughs> while, I wa- while I watch Howdy Doody, I put one up there. <laughs> she, just <laughs> she just burst in my bubble. I was so excited that I was like, oh, dude, I thought I the songs fun. counted. <laughs> I was Technically, really then pen- you're masturbating in your ass. When you're Darn. <laughs> penetration, people. It's about penetration. <laughs> what if... Mm. Oh, oh, God. I would think that it. you guys would be more well-versed. Don't, <laughs> isn't this show supposed to be about sex? Does a lesbian have to come on and tell you everything? <gasps> yes. Buzzkill. Buzzkill. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. I guess I haven't had anal. Wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. All right. <laughs> <sighs> Let's recover. I thought sex was all about me, Jack, or hammering on somebody. Uh, well, uh, uh, mm. we'll get to that. Nice, Jack. Hammer. We'll get and to that. Not noticing the bored look in their eyes. Oh, uh, uh-huh. okay. Now I'm getting angry. Fucking horse. <laughs> let, let, let's. Let's Go back to Hunter. <laughs> Let's talk about Hunter and right. this whole anal. And um, okay, Hunter, I'm sorry. We get too sidetracked. I'm sorry. Okay, so Hunter hasn't had anal yet, but she's she wants no, to try but it Hunter out. Hunter wants to try it out yeah. on her girlfriend. Mm-hmm. So she writes, her girlfriend is open to the idea, but she's but is worried about the size of my dick and how much it will hurt. My current ghost dick. Is eight inches. Which, by the way, oh, I'll, you know what? I'll address it afterwards. Which she is okay with to a point, but does say it's a bit much sometimes. So I'm looking into getting a smaller one, but that might be a bit thicker, which she likes a lot. Okay, that, that's understandable. Hmm. So what I th- want to know is, first off, what are your thoughts about anal? Ugh. And what is the best way? <laughs> oh, we know yours already. <laughs> and what's the best way to go about anal sex and making sure she isn't in pain the whole time? And what are your suggestions to get her, sorry, I can't read, to get her as open as possible so that when I'm ready to enter her, I slide in easier and so it actually feels good for her. It's called a roofie. Thanks so much for the help, ladies. I really appreciate it and look forward to hearing more of your podcast. Love, Hunter. Well, Hunter, I just posted something on Facebook because recently I read the guide to anal sex because I feel a little bit like your girlfriend. I have I my ex had a, a over an eight inch cock and for thirteen years he was asking me to have anal sex and I was scared of it it was huge and you know in the last year I tried it and I it I took two Benadryl I'm not gonna lie I took two Benadryl to relax wow relax, I, relax, relax the muscles to relax the muscles I don't do drugs so I couldn't do drugs and. It was you donkey know, punch would have worked too. Yeah, probably. But it relaxed me. It, I'm not promoting taking Benadryl, but or it, donkey punches. There you go. But I got I relaxed and I was able to enjoy it for a millisecond, and then once he pulled out, it it hurt too much to go back in, oh. and and I I couldn't take it anymore. But apparently, in my guide to reading, a lot of lube is what everyone says. A lot, a lot of lube and a lot of foreplay to get your girlfriend very wet and use the natural lube. Spood, spood, spood. Or that. <laughs> and in my opinion, and this is just my opinion for someone who does not like anal sex, is to go with the smaller dildo first. Start small, work your way, let her enjoy it, and then you could bring the eight inch cock into it. 
at least that's what I would do. I mean, if I was with a woman and who wanted to do this to me, I would definitely ask her. Not girthy. I would want a small dildo. Just sm- why don't you try the tongue? Because apparently that's the same thing. <laughs> or a thumb. Or my or a thumb. thumb. <laughs> exactly. Or guess number two is a thumb. I just say definitely lots and lots of foreplay. Get her so super wet. Do all the things that she loves. However, like when you go down on her or play with her nipples or kiss her sensually, like get her really hot and wet and then use that. And motor oil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think, okay. I think, yes. I think also you have to be in the right mental state and I think it would be too bad a drill. I think if you guys are at a point in your relationship where you feel like you're, um, in, your intimacy level is at a point where you trust one another. You I need to embrace the anal sex. I think you can get to the point where you can embrace it. Exactly. And um, it's because it's not just physical. I think Callie addressed the physical, but mentally, yeah, you guys have to get to that point where you can really just go there with one another. Absolutely. And the asshole is not a bad place. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad place. And I don't I, think anything. I guess that in a fortune and, and from what I, This is another thing that I, I, I I've heard from my friends because I'm pretty much the only one out of all my friends who does not do anal. Is when he, when you, or he, when when the when the dildo is inserted inside your anal, Can anal, I meet your anal rectum. Absolutely, <laughs> you need to push out as he's putting it in, no. or relax the muscle, like super, super, super relax the muscles. You just need to relax the muscles. Probably need to make like you're pooping. See, that's what I thought. The so other, that's my big fear. The oh. other thing I, I think a lot of women don't understand is plop, you don't necessarily... Plop, plop, plop. Okay, you too. You don't, <laughs> you don't necessarily have to be in, what, in the doggy style position. Oh, no, 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 no. I was on top. No, not only that, if you do a missionary yes. and the, the person, male or female, knows what they're doing, they can tilt it so you're also getting clitoral stimulation. Mm. I just, I, I did on top. I control, I put it inside of me like I controlled how slow I was going to go down okay and then use a wet finger and then I well he didn't need to use a wet finger hot mm. <laughs> I'm, I don't need to use lube I don't think I've ever used lube ever you don't always have to use lube I don't need lube no I drip I also drip hot. <laughs> I don't squirt. That's going to be a sound bite. <laughs> I see it on TP's face right now. <laughs> he's, he's, he's masterminding that. I drew it. Nice. Um, so, Hunter, I hope we helped. Oh, I don't even know if we helped you out. I hope we helped your girlfriend out. Yeah, good, like, good for you. And you know what? Let us know how that goes. Yeah, I'm curious to know how she takes the eight inch dildo up her ass. Yeah. Can but she really, write in and let us know, please. Yeah, please write in. Write in. We love you, Hunter. You're a good fan. I know you. You're awesome. Yeah, I do. I adore your posts on Facebook yeah, a lot. She's awesome. So we want the best for you. Okay. So now um, let's move on to. We have a lot of emails we apparently have a this ton evening. Of emails. So what really was our topic of the night? We didn't emails. really have emails. Well, I think it's important because a lot of people <laughs> write in for advice. No, and that's absolutely. what we're here for. You know, we're a advice centered podcast and we're here to help you guys feel better about yourselves in a sexual manner and in relationships and things like that. Yes. Relationships. I love my <laughs> and not everyone is comfortable in speaking about these things. So we yeah. have taken it upon ourselves. Yeah. Guest number one. Guess number one. Are you freaking kidding me? I had to tell you the truth. <laughs> All right. Our live audience is rebelling on us right now. Actually, I think guess number one clarified a lot of shit tonight. Mm. No pun intended. <laughs> Do we have to go to shit again? <laughs> no. You can have anal. Shit! Mm. TP, do you have a tip tonight? I could come up with something. No kind of pun intended. Nah. Do you want to do a tip? Give me a minute. Okay. Let me masturbate for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me read this one more email. Okay, this one is from Desmond. From Lost? <laughs> I wish. I loved him. <laughs> Desmond on Lost was my my cyber boyfriend. Oh, I wish I watched TV. You totally used to masturbate to him, didn't you? Oh, my God. I I loved him. Speaking of masturbating. Penny. Wait, do you, do you master, when you watch porn, totally off the subject, but I was just, I just watched a movie where lesbians watched gay men porn. Mm Mm-hmm. What was that? Oh my god, did you watch It's the Kids Are All Right. Yeah, the Kids Are All Right. All right. I saw that. Yeah. Look what's I wish I could quit you. No, uh, but, but like, uh, seriously, I'm, I'm curious. Um, 
Do you like to watch porn with a man and a woman, or two women, or two men? I can watch anything, to be honest with you. Um, Wait, so you can get off on two men having sex? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. But wow. Okay, so you're lying in bed, you're bored, and y- you know, you're a little feisty, so what do you put in? You, I know. What, was what, you, what do I put in? <laughs> <laughs> the monkey. No, what? Chair leg. That's awesome. No, seriously. Like, what is your... You what slip is into your... a thong and you have some anal. <laughs> what, wait, what's that, a 40-year-old virgin? <laughs> Say you. No. Say me. Or, yeah, Yeah, I masturbate to you. <laughs> so please, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What do you put in? Because that movie, they were watching two men. What is your preference? What turns you on? What not not what turns you on, but what would you masturbate to? If I had to choose, it would be two men. Okay. Or Animal Planet. Interesting. <laughs> no. See, really? Because listen to me, I like men. Um, we've already discussed the fact that if I could be a lesbian, I would be, but I cannot, so I won't. Right. So I um, I enjoy men, and there's nothing hotter than watching two very good-looking men naked. Enjoying each other's body. Uh, see, I don't, and I, I know I'm not. The, okay, listeners, let me know what you think because I don't think I'm that strange. No, and you're not because the reason why I was asking was because all the women out there have you noticed that E Uh-oh. runs Sex in the City Someone's all day? Mm. Oh boy. You're not that strange. That's why I'm watching Brokeback Mountain right now. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, guest number one, who is, is an audience member, is actually sitting uh, near our studio watching Brokeback Mountain. Mm. You know what? Good for you. good for you. I love that scene in the tent. Never seen it. Uh, uh, wh- what? She's never seen Brokeback Mountain. Yeah, wow. I've never seen I it. wish I could quit you. See, I'm just not. I'm just not down with gay. I can't. I was watching Sex in the City today, and they were watching gay porn. I watched yes, that movie. I saw that. They yeah. were watching gay porn. Right. I can't. Do, I'm not down with two men. I, you, you never cross the streams. No, 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 no. I don't want that. <laughs> no. But but then again, on the flip side, I will put in a lesbian. Like I will go and Netflix a lesbian, but I need a storyline. See, that'll be my that would be my last so preference. So do I, oddly enough. I need a storyline. A costume, stuffed animal costume, like preferably a monkey. Monkey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I was just curious because of the episode I was watching today. I was like, why is everyone watching gay porn? I'd like two men. I don't get it. I just can't get down because I know eventually they're going to shove something up someone's ass, and then it get all goes back to anal, and then I get all jammed up. What, something as in their own member? I, I don't it know. Might it might be. It could be a thumb. It could be whatever it is. They. Ch- I don't know. Either way, something's going to happen to the asshole. Not true. When I wa- <laughs> but when I watch <laughs> lesbian porn, the asshole doesn't have shit going in there. <laughs> <laughs> I have shit going out. <laughs> For audience. Oh, totally audience member number at. one is getting yelled at. Callie. <laughs> oh, no. Here she comes. Here comes Callie. <laughs> I'm stereotyping now. You're assuming that gay men must have anal sex, and that is not true. That's true. A in lot of them engage no, in oral sex. That's not true. In most porn that I've seen, I see a penis go into an asshole. A lot of at porn. Some point. Hey, porn, that might be true. I'm talking about porn. I'm <laughs> not I'm talking s- about real life. All right. Po- is porn real life? I, I'm i sorry. I have to take it back. Go back to Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> go back to Brokeback Mountain. And, I, you know, not to say, <laughs> but I do have plenty of gay men friends. I kind of have. I'm, I'm educated on this. But, but a lot of gay men do not penetrate. I wouldn't say a lot. I would no, say I think some. That, I think I would say fifty percent. You really think it's fifty percent? Audience member number one. Do you think it's up to? It's about fifty percent. I don't know the percentage, but it is a misconception that. Okay, she said it's a misconception. So what about all the straight men that take it up the ass? Well, like me, my thumb. <laughs> then, then I think no, really. we then I think we need to wonder if if they're truly straight. Mm. Like wh- where do you hey, What's the line But is that what's Make the them li- gay Because they like to Take it up the ass it, That's interesting Now if a woman oh. If a woman Puts on a strap on Does that make The receiver A homosexual Right No He just Because it's a woman Giving him the Sucking dildo. him in the ass So does that make him gay yes. I don't know That's a good question Yes, if you might. have a rainbow no, no, no. on the back of I your think, car. Honestly, you know I th- how I know you're gay? <laughs> you can go there. <laughs> you watch Sex in the City and you have a penis. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think at the end She's of the day, the of it depends on how you how you identify Uh-oh. yourself. Seriously, I that's number one scaring me. I don't She's going to hurt me. <laughs> She's going to kick your ass. She's totally going to kick my ass. I think she could. <laughs> I think at the end well, of the day. Stop being a bigot, for Christ's sake. Oh, my God. I'm a bigot. 
you can't define someone else's sexuality. They have to define their own, right? So what are you saying? So that means <laughs> if I'm with a man and I fuck him in the ass with a ginormous dildo, he's straight. If he identifies as straight, he's straight. Uh, what if he sucks the big giant dildo before I insert it? Well, if, if you're going to like shout from over there, just come over here. Oh, oh there's going to be a so, girl fight. So, I mean, <laughs> why would a man liking anal sex why would a man who likes anal sex why does that make him gay when a woman who likes anal sex that doesn't make her gay i mean like that just makes no sense i agree that's so why like, I right, asked like a question. woman that likes cunnilingus <laughs> that doesn't make her a lesbian exactly okay although i wish it did the guest number, <laughs> honestly guest number one I know. It's very. She's bringing up some good she points. Up, this so, is making my brain hemorrhage a little. <laughs> it's a lot. Of I thinking. know. I kind of like our like retarded, like not making sense podcast. We've entered the now, homosexuality like, vortex. I, I don't know really, how to get out of here. I don't know how to get out of here. I'm sorry I brought it up. <laughs> well, let me get my thumb out of my ass and maybe we can leave. <laughs> I don't know how I brought it up. I just was curious because of the Sex in the City episode and because Brokeback is on in the background and <laughs> the fact that I haven't gotten laid in a while and because I have half a stock watching it. Yes, exactly. Excuse me, Callie. You haven't gotten. Laid in a while? I haven't gotten laid in a while. Cause Dude, I'm, I'm sitting but, right here. <laughs> you're, you're a whore. I'm not a whore. I'm a born Aww. again. There will be no licking of ass. It's Aww. been a while. It's, well, I'm I'll, scared. I'll, take, I'll just take it, right take it out right now. Take it out right now. Pull it out. Here it comes. Pull it out. I don't know if oh, my oh my God. It's so, it's so big. Why don't you just touch it? Are you Jewish? A touch it a little bit. <laughs> Come on. Just touch it. Just touch no, but seriously, it's you. Just touch it. That's you. That was me. Really that was into the Jews. Really into the Jews. Are you Jewish? No. Okay. <laughs> so. Who touch his dick? <laughs> I don't know. I was just curious. Maybe because I'm, I'm hanging out with a bunch of lesbians. I'm like scared to talk. I'm seriously scared to talk because guest number one is going to beat me. Guest number one is playing Angry Birds and watching Brokeback Mountain. You don't have to be. I'm looking up to see if I can find the. Okay, she's looking up studies. Class. She's 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 the why you suck in bed research. All right, can Push. we get let's get yeah. can we get out of this vortex? I'm, Jesus Christ! I'm sorry, just, I'm coming out of it. You coming? I'm coming out of it. I'm coming out. Where, where are we? I want the. Where world are we answering an email? To let it <laughs> show. Oh, <laughs> Callie doesn't know the word. <laughs> okay, go. Here's an email, and then we're gonna have some TP tip. How much time do we have left? What does that mean? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? I can't count. You're that. the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's one more email. Desmond. Oh, this is how we got on it. Because <laughs> Desmond had lost. So here's Desmond. Thanks for the reply. Because I replied back to him. Okay. Good to know. I enjoyed your second show. I got a boner at the gym on the treadmill hearing you fake orgasm. Well, well, I, I think most of, most of our listeners got a boner after hearing oh, Stacey's God. You are Fucking welcome. Orgasm. And a couple of my girlfriends. I still have a boner. <sighs> exactly. So does TP. I'm looking at his boner. Does he's, that make me gay? He's touching his boner. Oh, God. And you know how I know you're gay, TP? You're enjoying him touch your boner. He needs a cute little spanking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we get back to this? I'm sorry. Jesus go back. Christ. Go back. The train has derailed. The treadmill and a boner. Go on. Come he's on, doctor. Get us back on top. So he's got a treadmill. He's got a boner. God, that's a mess, Be dude. I'm sorry, Desmond. I'm sorry. Hmm. So he writes. Where do you work out, Desmond? So he writes this. <laughs> I love pork swords. Okay. Also, <laughs> I do lick my own cum off my girlfriend's chest. I'm bisexual, though, and she's fine with it. We like, quote, sharing the love, end quote. <laughs> My guess is that guys that lick their own cum after sex aren't really as straight as they say they are. Huh. Keep, I agree. You go. Keep the shows coming, Desmond. Guess number one. Guess number one. Want to address that? She's silent. Oh, oh, here she comes. Here we go. So Desmond brings up a really good, a really good point. Yeah. Um, how do you feel? I think guess number two was being a little anti-gay <laughs> with his comments, and I didn't appreciate it. What did he say? What did you say, guess number two? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Something about liking pork. Oh. Uh, no. No, I said pork swords. Pork swords. 
like, oh. like a penis. That's not anti-gay. Pork right. swords or penises. All right. Sorry, I'm a lesbian. I don't know <laughs> this terminology. <laughs> she doesn't know anything Wait, about No, pork. come back here. So Desmond's asking or, or stating the fact that when a... Ja- <clears throat> take a, a jet swig. Wig. Everyone drink. <laughs> Everyone take drink. Take a shot. <laughs> when, when men lick their own cum after... After ejaculate, stop, <laughs> stop having anal. <laughs> Scratch it. Are you dog. listening? Or are you playing I'm Angry listening. Birds? So <laughs> when <laughs> when a ma- I'm listening, I'm not playing Angry Birds. I'm getting you some statistics. For example, from 1999, <laughs> two from a study, two thirds of gay men have anal sex. Oh, mess. <laughs> two two thirds. That's not so a lot. So I was wrong. I said 50%. This is from 1999, so a little okay. dated. Okay, so explain to me when a man. Comes on on a woman, and he and he in the moment licks it up, or he uses bread to sop it up. Okay, oh. Oh. he's Italian, obviously. There's say he's saying that he should be. Now you're anti Italian. <laughs> I'm Italian and I'm gay. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> I like Jesus. so. Is I don't think he's gay. I just think that he's in the moment and he's just like slurping it up. So you disagree with Desmond? I don't know. I totally disagree. I don't know. I'm so confused on this subject. I 100% it ha- disagree So with you. you would never slurp it up? No. Absolutely not. Slurpy, slurpy, slurpy. Uppy, uppy, I don't know. I feel, like, like, I feel like the first time you blow a load, you're like, gee, I wonder what that shit is. Maybe I can... Mm. Mm, no, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're in the moment, I don't you know. know and like, that was when I was like, you know, 12... Right. And you're like, whoa, what's this stuff going on But then down again, here? but wait, but wait, a woman, me, uh, I'm sure men, I'm not the only woman that has taken a man's hand and, and, and put his fingers inside of me and I'm in the moment, I take it out and I lick his fingers. Isn't that the same thing? No, because semen's so much thicker and... Ew. Just, no, it's not not all the time. Sometimes it's well, like... Well, if you're talking about the pre-shit that comes out, that's <laughs> one thing, but you're talking about the actual load that's fucking chunky and... Chunky oh. monkey. The fact that you have chunky spunk. Oh. I feel like Samantha. Chunky monkey. Spunk. Ew. You chunky to, spunk. The monkey has nothing to do with this. Like but Dr. Dr. Stacy, you have not been with... I can't say anything because I've been with lots of women. You have been with zero have women. Zero women. Have you ever... Lick the finger? Yes. Yeah, of course. Okay, so Take that's... Like so you're, but you're not bisexual. It's <laughs> totally no. different, though. How is it? It's not different. It's total... That, that's lube. Whereas when I'm blowing my nut, that's like... The shit that I'm using to reproduce. That's not lube. It's ejaculate. It's female ejaculate. Yes, and not for nothing. The fact that you have yeah, chunky you're not, sperm. You're you not need blowing, to talk to someone no, about well, that. You're not blowing your eggs on me or anything like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about little spermies coming out. That shit's like <laughs> spermies. Proteins. Spermies. It's different. That's a completely different ball of wax. I don't know if they're all bisexual. I mean, I appreciate Desmond for saying that. That's hey, go your girlfriend to share you I with mean, other does men. Does he also like runny eggs? Oh, because if that's true, no, he doesn't. It's okay. And he sops it up with bread. That's Yum. What toast is for. I like runny eggs. Okay, but do you really think? Do you honestly, Doctor Stacy? Do you think Desmond has a point? I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Desmond. Honestly, I really love that he said that because it's sparking this conversation, and I do wonder. You know, because like I said, I think sexuality is defined by the. By each person. I don't think we are in a position to say, oh, you like to taste your own cum? You're gay. You're a bisexual. I think that is a personal definition that you make for yourself. You might just have a food fetish. Ugh. Did you just hear that? What? That was Did my, you burp? <laughs> that was my throat. Just made a noise. Is that your chunky spunk? It was, my, it was, it was <laughs> death number two's chunky spunk <laughs> coming out. I'm getting hungry for chunky <laughs> spunk. Ugh, man. I'll throw it in the can for you. You can take it home. <laughs> nice. But, oh, to go cup. A 14 gallon. What was it? A gallon of milk? A gallon? <laughs> oh, the, yeah. I'll get the ice cream scoop for you. There you go. Oh, that's disgusting that it's chunky. Like, I'm still, I can't get past that. It's chunky monkey. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a guy have chunks all over <laughs> me. And if, like, curdled milk chunks? <laughs> like, that's, I don't know. Like, I have a pro- like, usually it's transparent. Because it's the real sperm. Oh, 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 I didn't know there was real and fake sperm. I'll keep that in mind whenever I finally do have sex again. All right. Well, did you just snort? I did. TP step. I grunted. Let's do it. TP, do you have chunky spunk? <laughs> Last time I checked, no, it was smooth and creamy. <laughs> but when he blows a load, every woman in the 10 mile radius gets pregnant. Nice, because it goes 25 <laughs> miles per hour. It's a barren wasteland out there. Nice. So, what's your tip? TP? We have to do his intro music. 
by the way, we're all doing some really stupid dance. And if any of you saw us, you would be tuning us out we right now. We should be videotaping this. Except me. I'm still masturbating. <laughs> With his pork sauce. We're doing some whatever. hokey dance moves. <laughs> Oof, and I'm hot again. Mm. It's time mm. for the peace tip. Uh, okay, TP. You had to get that last in. Of course. It's always about the big finish. Again, thank you, Greg Body. Always about the big finish. My tip is <coughs> I really don't have one. You <laughs> fucking suck. Come on. I just wanted to play the music. You <laughs> suck. Come on. What do you mean you don't have a tip? Nobody told me what the topic was. Wait, there is no fucking. Clearly, have you not listened for the last hour? <laughs> We're all over the fucking map. I have, I'm focusing on How do you get job. from point A to point B? What do you, are you on fu- are you on like monster.com? What are you doing? Don't even look at what I'm doing. <laughs> what do you mean? Very what? technical. <laughs> I need a job too. Get me a job too while you're doing that. TP, it. come on, you man. You need to embrace the anal sex. There's my tip. Oh, okay. Uh, so you do it up the poop, the pooper. The brown Anytime stripe. I get a chance. Yeah. TP, yeah. have you engaged have you- in the pooper? I have given, never received. Let me clarify. Okay. And do you lick up chunky spunk? <laughs> I've never once in my life. And did you chew it afterwards? Oh, oh God! Oh, oh my God! It's curdled. Oh. Uh, I think your spunk went bad. <laughs> it's, it's, it's past the expiration. Do you remember date. Sex in the City when Samantha said that? Yes. He had funky spunk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She made him eat, we- drink wheatgrass. I, well, pineapple juice also helps, gentlemen. I used to gentlemen, drink- oh, take a I shot there. Take a swig. <laughs> I used to drink a lot of apple juice. Well, you got to switch to pineapple juice. Ooh. And women, too. I mean, I, I when I used to have sex, <laughs> I was told uh, amazing smells, delicious taste, and I think it has to do with the pineapple juice. Holla. TP, do you enjoy mm. uh, going up the brown road? Ew. <laughs> the brown road. Now that you've put it that way, that it's put a whole racist, different spin. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. It sounds very racist. The brown road. Like, the don't high, go down over there to the brown road. The highway of chocolate. Yeah, the think Hershey about highway. all the other colors that could come out of there. <laughs> yeah, green, red, <laughs> Ew, the red. goose poop. Oh, oh turquoise. <laughs> I'm sorry, but sometimes green or beet red. That's right. Yes. We eat beets there's, there's or, or the, blood. Or <laughs> that's after anal. Or the black. It that's could a, have I just it drank could be a lot. Of poop. Oh. oh man! I know I'm opening some dark closets here. You really don't want to go yes. into dark, dark closets. Dark, okay, dark. yes or no? Do you enjoy the brown highway? With one person, I did. Oh, uh, uh, her again? Becca? No, Fuck Becca! Fuck her! I can't stand this bitch. I'm gonna, th- you know, I'm I'm fucking calling her ass out. <laughs> Done. You fucking call in here, bitch. We're gonna have a mud wrestling tournament against Becca. Mm. Can we mm. make it Jello instead, mm. or chocolate? <laughs> yeah, you. I don't like mud. Like the whole anal vibe. <laughs> Although my skin is really bad, I could probably use a little bit of mud. I don't like mud. I like the Jello, and I like the chocolate. Chocolate, mm. chocolate pudding. Mm. Mm. Now oh, what happened? Never back mind. College, that I was college memories. Jello, mm. chunky no. spunk. Okay, how much time do we have left? I uh, will. I, I need to know, dude. Do, what, do we have another email? We don't. But uh, what I want to do is I want to go back to uh, I want to give a shout out to Glory Hole again because <laughs> it hasn't aired yet, but it'll air by the time this episode airs. They mixed our fake orgasms uh, to make it sound like we were having sex with one another. Uh, uh, oh, ooh. <laughs> ah, so that means Dr. Stacy is no now now is a lesbian. <laughs> are you are you going to play it? We don't have it yet, but we, we will know. respond to it. Um, I would close my eyes. That's pretty mm-hmm. hot, though, I got to say. Although your your orgasm was 10 times better, and, and, and I have listened to it over and over again. Oh, man. It puts me to sleep. I just, I, I get this warm fuzz. Aww. Maybe that's why I had a dream about lesbians last night. Or I was staying at my friends who are lesbians. I don't know, but I definitely had a dream about lesbians last night. Was it a sexual dream? or? Yeah, but you know when you don't really remember, but you wake up feeling... Mm. But not... Sa- did you wake up not satisfied? No, or? I woke up satisfied, but I know I didn't masturbate in the middle of... I mm. know I didn't touch my... I, I'm just very horny lately. Oh, no. It's been a while. It's Guys, Kelly get, needs something. Get the oh. stress out. God, Seriously. I need to. The, I can't find the monkey. Call I think the monkey was stolen. All those guys out there. <laughs> Actually, I'm putting a shout out out there. If someone sees a stuffed animal monkey... You know, those ones with the, with the Velcro, the Velcro hands and the Velcro legs. and the, But it's a bigger one than the ones you get at the zoo. <laughs> so if you... Someone stole my monkey. <gasps> mm-hmm. Oh, my God. The monkey's gone. Monkey? I can't masturbate now. I've lost it. I, I, I Someone stole the monkey. So anyway, if, if anyone sees the monkey, please 
And I don't want no fucking pictures of you with the monkey. I want the monkey back. Yeah, someone if help they, like, her out. Mail you pieces of the monkey. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like getting ransom. out of control. I'm like rubbing up on everything. I'm like a fucking cat right now. I'm rubbing up on like counters and that's stuff. why I didn't have a tip. She banged she the corner of my me. coffee table. A I few know. Minutes ago. I couldn't take it anymore. It's bad. It's mm. weird. The whole counter fell apart. <laughs> and so Gorilla did the chair. <laughs> I okay. can't. This microphone's looking good right now. <laughs> oh wow! Mm. We, uh, Kelly and I, are going to be appearing on the Glory Hole. We are. We are. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad. I'm. I'm like question so. Mark. I know. Question mark there. I, I'm so in the dark. No one tells me anything. Week of February twenty eighth. Oh, good to know. Thanks for telling me. You're welcome. I mean, if all goes well, we've been on before, so we're no, just no. going to stop no, by no. and say hi. We have not been on. You have been on. <laughs> I was in. I was sitting behind you. And you were being called Chewbacca. Yes. Are you telling me to be quiet? No. I, I think you should Cause speak your mind, girl. Okay. I, th- I thought you were doing something weird with your lips. No. Okay. No, no. Yeah, no, no. So we, there was no we then. You're right. Benji yes. from Howard Stern, and it was me, mm-hmm. and you were in the background. That's right. Well, this time, I don't think Benji will be on. Or maybe Benji can sit in the background. And you can actually mm. get a microphone. There you go. Benji won't sit in the background. He no. won't be, you know, he won't be a little wallflower. No. He needs to be the center of everyone's attention. <laughs> he needs to be on air. I like Benji. I think he's a nice guy. Yeah. He we is. bonded. I know you too. I tried to help him. I know. The tilt. I know. Everyone, I could master the tilt. I take the best photographs. <laughs> and I was trying to teach Benji how to ta- do the best photographs because when you tilt a little bit, you lose the double chin. Right. Not saying that Benji has a double chin or, all, or anything. No, you totally did. I totally did. <laughs> but you do a little bit of a tilt and you take the best photographs. And he was not getting it. And it was infuriating me all night when we were at the restaurant. I was trying to teach him mm-hmm. the tilt. You two will never resolve that. No, we won't. I think he has He's like, not trying. He has residual anger against about you. Like I think he, he resents the tilt because he can't master the tilt. I think so. And he does this weird thing where he shoves his face in the camera. Yeah. Because it shows off his eyes. So does the tilt. You just have to fucking open them. <laughs> does, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand. I don't know. Well, he'll be on our show, too. So he can, ex- you, he'll answer to you. I just don't understand. Once and for all. I could help him. Yeah, I know. And be nice to him, huh? I, I truly like she, him. She You're does a like him. I'm a fan. Sometimes. I She's a big fan of Benji. I'm a big fan of Benji. I'm sitting here intimidated right now. Oh, You're intimidated. Shut up. Yeah, I'm curled <laughs> in a ball in fetal position. Are my small boobs? My thumb. Yeah? My small boobs turning you on? Oh, my penis is still out. <laughs> number two is a, is a big boob fan. <laughs> I like being called number two. <laughs> <laughs> it goes along with the theme. <laughs> But, all right, I'm going to wrap this shit up. Yeah, um, um, I apologize. We were all over the place tonight. It was kind of fun. We had a live audience. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up, and I want to um, just let you guys know, please listen to The Glory Hall and The Mad Scientist Party Hour with Kevin and Miguel. Wait, and when was Franco coming on? Soon. We're going right. to get that little bitch on. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. You're listening to Why You Suck in Bed on The Glory Hall Radio Network, gloryhallradio.com. Uh. Oh, 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 oh,